Big new developments on the reports of another attempted kidnapping in Scripps Ranch. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina live tonight. Turns out that was a false alarm and a bad stunt on a community already on edge. Steve. Young man saw it unfold right in front of him on this street here. A young girl on the sidewalk, strong armed and thrown into a car, which then sped away. Nick Gallardo said he saw a man pull a U-turn and jump out of his car to grab a girl walking down the sidewalk. He put her hands on her and she kind of like moved her arms, tried to get out of the way, and he just grabbed her with her arm, built his arms around her and just super tight and just threw her in the back of his car and not the trunk, but the back seat. He couldn't hear what was being said. My windows were actually up, so I didn't see any screaming, but she was definitely resisting. It looked suspicious to another driver as well. The lady behind me turned around and she tried to stop the car and parked in front of it and he just swerved around her and just drove off like something was like he was trying to hide from something. So. This was only two days after a brother and sister reported someone tried to abduct them as they walked home from Jeremek Elementary about two miles east. Neighbors were frightened. So scary, you know, to happen twice in a week. It's really heartbreaking because, you know, I have two small children that I allow go down to the park by themselves and it's just horrible to think that this could be happening in our neighborhood. Police interviewed witnesses, checked for surveillance video, and eventually solved this case. It was not what it seemed. No kidnapping, rather an older brother picking up his sister roughly and rudely. It was a situation that should never have developed, but the two drivers did the right thing. Tried to stop it and called 911. Live in Scripps Ranch, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.